I've been working in the evenings on the canoe and not always filming, just kind of working and seeing how it goes. Um, so I'll show you guys the progress, what I did. I finished on this side, I cut the front straight and then I finished the last lashing on the top of the gunwale. Looks awesome, I'll show you. So right down here, I uh, cut a notch just so that the angle would fit nice. And then I did this lashing, much more difficult and time consuming to do this lashing than I thought because the bark on this side is far away from the bark on that side. So when you try to pass your, your root, it's really, really tough to get it in the hole on the other side. It looks pretty sweet. You have the inside gunwale there that comes in. They're tied off, lashing, lashing and then the end tied off. So next step will be to do my, uh, my uh, lashing all along here with the, uh, the board that split that comes in and squeezes, just squeezes the front and the bark there. I did that side, but now I gotta do uh, this side here. So I'll show you where I'm at. Same idea, I get this to come in and then sew it to my stitching. I measured it, I got the same distance here and the bark from here to here. The thing with these canoes is that the bark becomes very pliable once it's in the water and it absorbs a little bit of water, but its weak point is when it's dry, is when it's really fragile. But, you know, they're meant to be in the water, so. Yeah, whenever I'm cutting stuff that's stiff, you wanna really be careful not to have your, your leg or any body part underneath that if you slip off you don't cut yourself either your your other hand or uh, or your knee or your leg or your foot same thing as if you'd be using an axe it'd be the same general safety precaution with that also I was forgetting there's another thing I didn't really film and I worked on so it's uh it's this big patch right here where the uh the knot or the branch on the uh the tree was coming in so as you can see I did a double harness stitch all around it just a square Similar to what I did and what I showed on that side. Just finished the stitch. Looks pretty good.
So as you can see, the lashing style that, it, that I decided to do is basically, I like to call it a Z, but uh, you basically go in the same hole twice and then uh, go to your next hole once you come out and it gives it this uh, distincting, distinctive look. This is the bottom of the hull, so it will be gummed anyways with spruce gum, so you won't really see the bottom, um, but you'll see it through the gum and then you'll see it, you'll see it as well at the top. So I go in my hole here once, And then I pull it tight on each side. I've also used this this style of a lashing on on like birch bark baskets to do the uh, the top rim, and I like it. It's very nice. It's a decorative decorative style of lashing, and it's very solid. I gotta watch out with my all when I go back in the same hole so that I don't damage my root that's already there with my awl. So I went in once, pull it as tight as I can, come back around. And go in the same same hole again, and so on and so forth. Very simple, simple and effective lashing style. Can't wait to try this out in the lake. Be awesome. I was watching a lot of other videos that are on YouTube for uh, birch bark canoe builds, just to get ideas and kind of see how it's done. And it looks so easy when you see it in a video, but there's a lot more, more work to it and little subtilities that you don't really think about when you're just watching the video, but when you actually try to build a canoe, <laughs> It is a lot more complicated than it looks. What else could I talk about? You guys got to ask me some questions so that I have things to talk about. Or do a Q&A at the end of this series. I'll do a Q&A. Answer people's, people's questions. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a comment and uh, ring the bell or uh, click on the bell and YouTube will notify you for the next video and leave a comment so that I can have some good questions to answer. We're getting there, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, started off a new route.